In this series of tutorials, we're going to talk about working with images. In this first tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download an image from the internet. Now, I've got my browser open and I'm at a search engine already, uh, AltaVista. There are lots of different search engines you can use to find images. AltaVista is just one of them that happens to have an images section. You can see I'm pointing to that tab. Google, Yahoo, and all the web also have specific image sections for searching for images on the internet. Okay, so let's get started. We'll click on the images tab and then we need to put a descriptor for what we're looking for. I'm just going to do a simple search um, for Rocky Mountains. So I type that in quotes because it's two words and I want that exact phrase and I click find and the results are a collection of thumbnails that I will receive. And if you look at most of the names of the items, you can see that they end in .jpg for JPEG. And so I'll just come down and find the perfect picture. I found this one. Now again, this is just a thumbnail of the image. So I want to select that image and actually go to the website for that specific image. So I'll scroll down until I see the one that I want. And I'll select it. And what I want to do is I want to select the full-size image of the picture that I'm going to download because if I take the thumbnail and I need to enlarge it, my picture will become pixelated. So I want to take the original, the largest picture I can get. Then I can shrink it or enlarge it without having to get that pixelation happening. Okay, so we see our picture in front of us and we're ready to download it to our computer. So how do we do that? Well, on a Macintosh, if you have a mouse that has two buttons, you can right click and you'll see a pop-up menu that gives you some choices. If you don't have a mouse button that has a right button, or a mouse with a right, right button, you can hold your control key down and click on the image and get the same pop-up menu. From this pop-up menu, we're going to choose Save Image As. Now realize if you use a different browser, the command might say something different, something like download image to disk. So in this instance, we'll choose save image as, and a dialog box is going to come up that asks us where we want to save this. And I'm going to go to my desktop, and I have a folder on my desktop already called images. You might create that folder so you have a common place to store your images. And then I'm going to go ahead and rename this image that's a little bit long for me. And then click Save. That image is now downloaded to my computer and ready for me to use.